Então, o compêndio da Lexia Divina é uma forma simples, prática e acessível de ter na tua mão o resumo de toda a oração de um ano litúrgico. Com esse livro, você não vai perder a tua oração. Você vai registrar dia após dia o conteúdo da tua oração. E a oração vai se transformar em vida, vai se transformar em decisões, em práticas concretas. Essa palavra é tão poderosa que um só versículo pode mudar toda a sua vida. E o que é a Lexio Divina? A Lexio Divina, como o nome diz, é uma leitura orante da Palavra de Deus. Cinco passos, muito simples, e a leitura é algo objetivo. O que é que esses textos falam hoje, concretamente? Lê com calma, lê tranquilamente, lê várias vezes essas três leituras. Depois da leitura você tem a meditação. Então a meditação é um movimento de entrar dentro de nós, onde Deus habita, no mais profundo de nós, e escutar o que é que Deus quer me falar a mim, naquilo que eu vivo hoje, com essa palavra. A graça da oração. Se Deus me fala, eu respondo. Uma pessoa que ama, responde à pessoa amada. E o quarto passo, a contemplação, que transpassa o teu coração e, e, e torna o teu dia todo diferente. E essa palavra deve ficar ruminando no nosso coração ao longo de todo o dia. E último passo, a resolução. Qual a decisão que eu tomo face a essa palavra? Na escuta do verbo. Hello everyone, welcome to this Thursday, December 2nd. I'm Sister Mary Elizabeth from Seas of the World Community and I would like to welcome all of you that are joining us today. For the readings of this Thursday in the first week of Advent, we will read Prophet Isaiah chapter 26 verses 1 to 6. Responsorial Psalm today is Psalm 118, 118 and the Gospel from St. Matthew chapter 7 verse 21. Then we go to verses 24 to 27. Let's begin the reading of the Word of God for today. On that day, this song will be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. He sets up victory like walls and bulwarks. works. Open the gates so that the righteous nation that keeps faith may enter in. Those of steadfast mind you keep in peace. In peace because they trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for in the Lord God you have an everlasting rock. For he has brought low the inhabitants of the height. He loved, loved his city, the lofty city, he lows down. He lays it low to the ground, casts it to the dust. The foot tramples it, the feet of the poor, the steps of the needy. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Prophet Isaiah today is telling us, on that day, this song will be sung in the land of Judah. On what day? In the day that the Lord come to, to visit his people. In the day that the Lord comes to his people, this song will be sung. We have a strong city. We have a strong savior. We have a strong redeemer. This is the song that might come from our hearts when we see the Lord. The song that praises Him, that know that in Him our hearts find joy, that in Him we are complete and fulfilled, and in Him we have peace because we trust Him. Those of steadfast mind you keep in peace, in peace because they trust in you. If you feel that you are lacking peace, you are lacking trust. You are not trusting in God anymore. Grow in trust and you will see that peace will come to you. The peace of Christ. Peace was the gift that he gave us through his resurrection. Peace be with you. Peace is a gift that he brings to us in his Christmas. That peaceful night that we sing so many times in the beautiful carol, uh, Christmas carols that we sing during this time of the year. The Lord came to bring us peace. And then Prophet Isaiah tell us, 
Trust in the Lord forever. He is telling us. He is inviting us. He's saying, trust, trust, trust in Him. Trust in the Lord forever. For in the Lord God, you have an everlasting rock. In Him, we have an everlasting rock. In Him, we won't be shaken. In Him. But in ourselves, in this world, we will be shaken many times. But in Him, we will find an everlasting rock. In Him. The responsorial of Psalm today, Psalm 118 says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His steadfast love endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put confidence in mortals. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and you have become my salvation. Save us, we beseech you, O Lord. O Lord, we beseech you, give us success. Blessed, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God and he has given us light. The Lord is God and he has given us light. He brings us light. He brings us light through His coming to us. And there is in the gospel, sorry, the gospel today from St. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 and then verse 22 to 27 says, When Jesus saw the crowds, He went up the mountain and sat down. His disciples came to Him and He taught them, saying, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a foolish man who built this house on sand. The rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against the house and it fell and great was its fall. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If we compare first reading with, with, with the Gospel today, we see that in the first reading it says that Trust in the Lord forever, for in the Lord God, for in the Lord, in the Lord God, you have an everlasting rock. In God, we have an everlasting rock. And the gospel today is asking us to build our houses upon the rock. On the rock. What rock is this? God. Everything we do, we need to build on God. To build on this rock that is solid and firm. We can approach the reading of this gospel today asking ourselves, Lord, where am I calling you? Lord, Lord, but not putting my trust in, in, my trust in you. First reading also tell us, trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Because we can say, Lord, Lord, many times, but not really be putting our faith in him not really be in this peace of mind this steadfast mind that puts our peace in god when we do not do it we are building our houses building our lives on sand everything will go wrong everything will fall apart if we don't build our house upon the rock that is christ trust in him to trust in Him is to build your house upon the rock. To trust in Him is to, ha to have this movement of heart that even when everything goes wrong around you, you know whom you trusted. You know where you, upon where, upon what, your house is built. Our houses, our lives, our souls, our jobs, our relationships need to be based in Christ, based in God. 
He needs to be the rock of every single thing we do. And then we will be able to be in peace. In peace because we trust in Him. Amen.